In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic, Introduction to Fractions. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more fast math tricks, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's see why are fractions used. So fractions are used to represent a part of a whole. So now let's use a pizza diagram to help us. So here we have a whole pizza and we have eight slices. Each of these slices are a fraction of the whole. Now let's have a look at how to represent fractions as numbers. To represent fractions, we need two numbers. So we need a number on the top and this number can be anything. And we also need a number in the bottom and this also can be anything. These two numbers are separated by a line that goes through the middle. The number at the top is called a numerator and the number at the bottom is called a denominator. The numerator tells us how many parts of that whole are being considered and the denominator tells us the total number of parts in a whole. Now let's find a fraction for this pizza we have right here. So let's start with the denominator first, the total number of parts in a whole. The total number of slices in this pizza is 8, which means our denominator is also going to be 8. Now let's move to the numerator, how many parts of the whole are being considered. We're going to consider all of it, which means we're going to get our numerator as also 8. So therefore, the fraction for this question is 8 over 8. Let's say that someone came over and took a slice from this pizza. So now we're only left with 7 slices. The denominator is still going to stay the same because the pizza is cut into 8 slices, which is still going to stay the same as 8, but the numerator is going to change. When the pizza had 8 slices, the numerator was 8. Because it only has 7 right now, the numerator is going to be 7. And we can change it right now. So the fraction is 7 over 8. So let's say someone else comes over and takes 2 more slices. So now we're only left with 5 slices. When we had 7 slices, our numerator was 7. Because we only have 5 slices, our numerator is going to be 5. Which means the fraction for this is 5 over 8. Let's say that someone gave you eight ice creams and they told you to find the fraction for each of them. So we have three ice creams with cones and five with ice lollies. So now, our first question is how many are ice creams with cones? So we know that we have eight ice creams, which means our denominator will be eight. And we know that we have three cone ice creams. So therefore, out of the eight ice creams we have, three of them are ice creams with cone. So therefore, the fraction for this is three over eight. Let's move to this next one, which is how many are ice lollies? We have five ice lollies, and as we said before, we have eight ice creams, which is once again, is going to be our denominator. Five ice lollies, so five out of eight, that means the five is our numerator. So therefore, our fraction for this question is five over eight. Let's have a quick recap on what we learned. So why are fractions used? Well, fractions are used to represent parts of a whole, how to represent fractions as numbers. To represent fractions as numbers, we need two numbers. So we need a number on the top and this number can be anything. We also need a number on the bottom and this number can also be anything. And we have a line that goes through the middle between these two numbers. The number on the top is called a numerator. The number in the bottom is called a denominator. So the numerator tells us how many parts of the whole are being considered. And the denominator tells us the number of parts in a whole. Now to learn more on math tricks, click the video on the right and to learn the previous trick, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.